I thought I told you that if anything wants to come up, you should call Marie. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a little too... What's wrong? Oh no, clearly. You're absolutely fantastic. Without a single worry in the world. Spill it. I don't have time to baby you. What's wrong? <laughs> You're upset with me. Why? Because I don't spend enough time with you. Darling, if I had free time, I most certainly wouldn't spend it with you. I would spend it watching a movie, shoving two kilos of popcorn down my throat. Not with some pathetic god who does nothing but complain while their aunt is out there fighting against monsters this very second. I'm so Thought you knew. Oh, it's just so hard. I've never guarded any other species on my own. Your aunt is um, fighting monsters. I know. Your aunt is a badass. When the other creatures are out there trying to locate you, to hunt you down, she's slaying them. They are drawn to your scent. It's much stronger than any normal human scent. Much stronger than any creatures for that matter. No, <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. It's nice. It smells like flowers. The places that smells the most of you is the places they'll head to first. Your hometown and then once they discover you're not there anymore they'll come here. But don't worry, you're safe. The pups have grown quite attached to you, and besides, I've sworn an oath to keep you safe until you gain your powers, no matter how annoying you might be. Nothing! <laughs> hey, look at me. Nothing's going to happen to your aunt. I offered to send her back up, but, um, I think she might have decapitated me if I even mentioned something distantly related to that. I don't think she can handle it herself. Your aunt is strong. She, your mother and father were unstoppable. You don't need to worry. Heck, if I were a dragon looking to gain your powers, I would take a very long detour just to avoid her. No, it's... Sucks being proven wrong. About you. I'm starting to believe maybe you aren't as insufferable as I first believed. As much as I try to be angry with you, I can't. Not really. You're just as stuck as I am. 
We are in the same spot, you and I. And we're just as stubborn, too. Perhaps I've been unfair to you. There is this one thing coming up. It would give me a chance to work while also spending time with you. It's a ball. All the pack leaders from around the continent will be there. Would you join me? Perfect! Um, <clears throat> it will give me a chance to strengthen my status among the other alphas. A mate is very important amongst our kind, and until you get a mate, you're not looked at seriously. Everyone just acts like I'm a child. Hey, you want to head down and get some grub? I am starving. I haven't eaten since midnight. Do you know the way to the kitchen? <laughs> By the utter panic in your eyes, I'd call that a no. That's alright. I'll let you take the lead. Don't worry so much. What's the worst that can happen? We find some ancient cursed room my parents somehow forgot to tell me about that I already haven't discovered. Ugh, what am I going to do with you, Divine One? Just relax. Even if we somehow were to find a cursed room, I'd keep you safe. Now go, lead the way. <laughs> oh, we're not even close, Divine One. Keep trying. Nope. You're going to find the kitchen on your own. You've lived here for a week now. It's time you get more comfortable with the mansion. Keep walking. It's 85,000 square feet. And with the grounds added on top of that, I'd call that pretty big. We don't need a place this big anymore. But the pack used to be a lot bigger when the mansion was first built in the 1800s. You know, family drama. Short version is that some wolves refused to stay in their place, leading to a 100 year long conflict that ended when they broke off back around 40 years ago. My father was the one who ended it. But they were pretty much already outcasted from the back, back when they initiated the conflict. I don't know. Maybe you should take a look. Oh my... It seems to have slipped my mind that that door leads to the pool. Yes, we have a pool. You can go swimming whenever you want to. Now keep looking. Hey, good job. You found the kitchen. What do you want to eat? Don't worry about that. We have most. Now what do you want? 
Awesome. Now sit down and let the cook do her job. Just call me Nat. I only use my full name for special occasions anyway. What about it? Um, what to say? It's a bowl. Um, what to say? It's a bowl. You will get to dress up all fancy, be introduced as my fiance, and dance with me. And listen to some political bullshit. <laughs> oh, Divine One, I have tried time and time again to escape the political discussions that arise on the Spring Bowl. Trust me, it's impossible. One for you and one for me. Now enjoy. It's not poisoned. Want me to prove it to you? See? There you go. Not so bad now, ain't it? Eat up. You'll want that energy for etiquette class. <laughs> yes, etiquette class. You'll need to know how to act around the other wolves as to not piss them off at the ball. Don't worry. I'll lead the way to the classroom when we've eaten up. 